week, you sent a letter to the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, on this topic. And it was actually a subject matter in last week's uh, hearing uh, before the uh, select subcommittee. I want to play a clip of Matt uh, Taibbi and what he had to say over the weekend about this uh, kind of network of entities that are out there that you are pressing in on. Play clip number four, please. As time went on, we learned that actually there's a whole complex of organizations and NGOs a lot of them are state funded, some of them are entirely state funded, that are sending huge lists of names to these companies. Uh, and and those are, that's the primary route by which people are taken off uh, places like Twitter or Facebook or um, any social media site. The State Department is funding one of these entities. You're trying to find out more. Tell us about it. Well, I sent a letter to Anthony Blinken last Thursday asking him to explain why the State Department was sending hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Global Disinformation Index. Uh, Tony, the, even the name is Orwellian. Uh, to think that someone uh, is out there deciding what true speech is and what false speech is, and uh, we don't trust uh, Americans to uh, be able to discern the, the truth from uh, false uh, speech uh, it, it is just really scary. But the State Department is funding this organization. So are other entities in government. And we're looking at those entities also to try to ask for similar information. But basically, I just sent a letter asking the State Department how many different units in the State Department are funding this organization, how much money are, are they spending, and why? Why are they doing this? 